Division number 13, finding an average or a mean. An average or a mean means an approximation. It's the total number divided by the number of things you added. So what does that mean? Okay, well, let me explain. Let's say there are three classrooms in a school, like three second grade classrooms or three seventh grade or whatever. And you want to know what the average amount of students are in the classrooms. If class one has 28 students and the second classroom has 32 students and the third classroom has 27 students, what you would do is you would add the 28, the 32, and the 27, and then you would divide them by the number of things you added. In this case, you would divide it by three because there's three things that we're adding. Well, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 7 is 17. We carry the 1 and put the 7 down. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, and 2 more is 7, 8. That's 87. Now, because we added three things up, we're going to divide the answer, the total, by 3. 3 goes into 87. Well, let's look. 3 goes into 8 two times, and 3 times 2 is 6. We put the 6 down here and do our subtraction. We go right, then we go up, and then we go below. So now 8 minus 6 is 2, and it's the 7's turn to come down because 3 cannot go into 2 alone, but it can go into 27. 3 goes into 27 9 times, evenly, and when we do our subtraction, we get a remainder 0. So, the average class size of these three classes is 29 students. We added up the three numbers and then divided it by the three. So let's look at this. After five weeks at a new job, you want to know what your average weekly pay is. So here's your paychecks. Week one, two, three, four, and five. And this is how much you made each paycheck. So what we would do is we would add these five up and because there's five, we're going to take the total and divide it by five. So let's see what we have here. Five and seven is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're going to carry the one and put the eight down. Three and one is four, and six is 10. That makes another 10, so we got 20, 21, 22. We're going to carry the two, put the two down, and remember our decimal point. 2 and 1 is 3, and 7 is 10, and 6 is 16, 17, 18. I'm going to carry the 1 and put the 8 down. 1 and 2 is 3, and 8 is 11, and 4 more is 15, 16, 17, 18. We're still at 18 because of the 0. 1 and 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4 is 12, and 4 is 16, and 4 is 20. So, in the five weeks, you've made $2,088.28. And $2,088. And 28 cents. We're going to divide this number by 5, and that is going to give us the average. 5 cannot go into 2, but it can go into 20, so we're going to write our number above the 0. 5 times 4 is 20. We write the 20 there that we multiplied by, do our subtraction, and we get 0. Can 5 go into 0? No. So it's the 8's turn to come down. Can 5 go into 8? Yes, one time. So we put it above that 8. 5 times 1 is 5. We do our subtraction, and we get 3. Can 5 go into 3? No. So it's this 8's turn to come down. Can 5 go into 38? Yes, it can. 5 times 7 is 35. So we're going to put the 7 above that 8 that we brought down. 5 times 7 is 35. We're going to do our subtraction and get 3. Can 5 go into 3 again? No. It's this 2's turn to come down. Can 5 go into 32? Yes. 
Let's put our decimal point above the other decimal point. 5 times 6 is 32. Is 30, I'm sorry. 5 times 6 is 30. We're going to subtract, and we get 2 left over. And now it's this 8's turn to come down. Can 5 go into 28? Well, 5 times 5 is 25. So we're going to put our 5 up here. We're going to put our 25 down here. We got 3 left over. Can 5 go into 3? No. But if we add another 0 here and bring it down, 5 goes into 30 6 times. Now, because we're dealing with money, we really only have two decimal places to work with. But if you remember how to round off numbers, when the number to the right of it is a 1, 2, 3, or 4, it tells that number to stay the same. If the number to the right of it is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it tells this number to go up. So the 5 is going to become a 6. And then this one has done its turn, and it's gone. So really, our answer is 417.66. That is the average pay for five weeks. So you can see that some weeks were small, some weeks were bigger, and our average came out to $417.66. I hope that you make more than that at your job. That is how you find an average or a mean of numbers.